Hey guys, this is how to play the conga. Now, I only want you to play this if you are in second, third, fourth, or fifth grade. If you're in KG and first, or sixth grade and above, sorry, but you can't play this. Okay, so again, this is only for second, third, fourth, and fifth graders. Okay, so the conga drum, you can either hold it by putting the strap over your shoulder and then wrapping your arm around. So take your imaginary conga, put it on your shoulder, wrap your arm around it like it's a baby. Okay? And now you can hit it when it's under your armpit. Okay? Another way you can hold it is between your legs. So let me step back. You can put your conga right here, cross your legs, and you can hold it like this. Okay? So what I want you to do now is I want you to take maybe a plastic bucket like this or um, maybe just a notebook or something, something that you can pat on like it's a drum, okay? So go ahead and pause the video and look for something that you can pretend is a drum. All right, welcome back. So um, the conga, there's two ways to play on the drum, okay? You can either play on the center or you can play on the outside. So it has a different sound. Listen for the middle, it sounds thump. The outside, thump. Okay, so take your imaginary drum, hit it in the middle, thump. Hit it in the middle, thump. Middle, thump. Middle, thump. Now hit it on the outside, thump. Thum, thum, thum. Yeah. And whatever you're using, pretend that it's a circle. Okay? And we want to hit in the center of the circle if we're doing the middle. Boom. And then the outside of the circle if we want the. Alright. So here's what I want you to do. Um, let me get in a good view. Okay. Alright. So. Take your right hand, right hand only, and hit it in the center of the drum. We're gonna do that two times, okay? One, two, three, four, do it with me. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. All right, good job. Now we're going to do the same thing with the left hand, but on three and four. Okay? That's on three and four. Watch and listen. One, two, three, four. 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 All right. Now we're going to combine the two. We're going to do right hand on one, two. And left hand, three, four. Okay? Play with me. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Right hand, left hand, right hand, left. I just burped. Right hand, left hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right hand, left hand, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, good job. And now we're gonna add one more bit, okay? Now that we can do right hand, left hand, now we're gonna do right, left, right, left, okay? So right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, like this. One, two, three, four, right, left, right, left, one, two, three, four, do it with me, two, three, four, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, one, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to combine the one, two, three, four, and the one, two, three, four. Okay, it's going to look like this. Watch and listen first. Right, hand, left, hand, right, left, right, left. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. Okay? Try it with me. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, hand, left, hand, right, left, right, left. Right, hand, left, and right, left, right. All right, good job. Make sure that if you want to play the conga in your addition, you know the exercise. Good luck.